hello everyone in this video we are going to see how to fix this error more than one db context was found the specify which one to use blah 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 so you might running add hyphen migration and the migration file name otherwise dot net ef migrations add migration file name as the solution you have to open your model file that you have recently created and then check whether you have included the db context here but the thing is all you had to include here is the class name that you defined here application db context so here this will be application db context so we have to resolve this right click on this click quick action and refactorings select using employee.data so and the next thing you had to right click on this click you quick action and refactorings click generate constructor so it will generate this code and then the next thing open your terminal and then type for example you might use in windows so you can type add hyphen migration migration and then the migration file name so in this case i don't have the windows so i will say instead dot net ef uh, let me quickly delete my previous migration folder because the fix is already done in my computer that's why i deleted so i will say dot net ef uh, migrations actually you don't have to delete that migrations folder and then I will say add migration name migration file name will be employee add so the error will come again because we have to specify hyphen C and then the class name here which is you are going to inherit the application DB context in this case employee context so I'm going to press enter now okay here we have another error no database provider has been configured for this DB context I'm going to uh, just say the net ef migrations add employee hyphen c employee context again okay because uh, i wasn't save this file earlier that's why the error came again you have to save this file and then the command should be executed dot net ef migrations add employee at hyphen then this class name okay so the next thing we had to do update our database to update we can say dot net ef update but the thing is you have to say hyphen c and then the uh, class name here employee context so it should be employee context which is this one okay uh, here it shows us another error because these tables are already exits so in this case I can go ahead and remove these tables and run again so I can drop and then run again Here these uh, tables are already available so that's why it is not running so this one run again this dotnet ef database update hyphen c okay now we can check 
this employees table has been created okay i hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe